Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today I'm taking a look at this brand new 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning. This particular Lightning is a Lariat model and is finished in antimatter blue metallic. Now we're going to take a quick walk around the outside here and then we'll take a look into the interior. But we'll first start with the front end where we do have the LED projector headlight. And you might also notice we do have a LED light bar that runs along the top of the grill there. And that's a signature uh, sort of design aspect of a Lightning is the light bar. And it's not used on any other Ford vehicle. So uh, cool little design there. And we also have a nice body colored bumper. It does include some front parking sensors as well as a set of recovery hooks uh, or tow hooks down there at the bottom. We also have the 360 camera system with the front view right there just underneath of the Ford logo. But if we come around to the side here with the Larry, we also do have these 20 inch gray painted aluminum wheels that's wrapped in a 275 60 all terrain tire. We have the F 150 Lariat badging right there on the side, and we also have body colored mirrors, which just feature the side uh, view camera as well as the side spotlight. Blind spot indicator right up there. We'll give you a look at the window sticker on this particular unit here. Uh, so we do have the standard range battery in antimatter blue uh, so we do have the 510a equipment group with the mobile power cord as really being the only option this one's priced at uh, just under 93,000 canadian uh, so these prices are in canadian dollars so just keep that in mind uh, so it might be a little bit of a higher price than you would see in the states but uh, this is actually a very uh, base uh, lariat uh, so it doesn't have the extended range battery it has the standard range so that is a, a big uh, price saving is the standard range battery. We do have a nice little lightning logo here on the back, which is a kind of blue accented there. And a big difference between a lightning and a regular F-150 is the fact that we have independent rear suspension. Whereas a traditional F-150 with the gas engine uses a solid axle with leaf springs, this one has coil spring rears, so it's, it's much more comfortable on road. Uh, you can really notice that going over bumps and potholes. Another cool design aspect is the rear light bar, just like the front. Uh, so we have a cool little light bar that goes across the back here. Rear view camera, and these are actually the reverse lights. Body colored rear bumper as well, does give us some rear parking sensors. We have a class four hitch receiver with four and seven pin connectors. We do have the power tailgate option, uh, which is actually standard on Lightning. And so this, this tailgate here actually goes up and down power operated. That includes the tailgate step with the tailgate work surface. And standard on Lightning is the 9.6 kilowatt pro power on board system. So it utilizes the massive battery that's included with these trucks. And we have a bunch of outlets here in the bed and also in the cab. So lots of power there. We also have LED box lighting and lots of tie-down points. And we'll take a look into the interior of this Lightning. Now being a Lariat model, we do have the leather interior. So your Lariat and Platinums have leather, whereas the XLT and the Pro model has either a vinyl or cloth. Um, so we do have a nice leather here in this Lariat model. Beautifully stitched, fully power operated, of course. And we do have heated and cooling function for both driver and passenger. If we take a look at the door panel, we do have some more of that nice leather here on the armrest. And of course, everything here is power operated. We also have a three-way memory that not only works for the driver's seat, but also the power adjustable pedals. So you have power pedals, and again, does work with that memory function. Eight speaker Bang & Olsen sound system here in the door with lots and lots of storage. We also have some lighting controls as well as your front trunk and the rear tailgate release. If we hop inside here, take a look at the key fob. Now we do have a keyless fob and that includes the front trunk release and that power tailgate again. And push button start. So again, we do have the standard range battery on this particular Lariat model. And uh, we have roughly a max range of about 400 kilometers. Now it's a little bit colder today. Um, it's not, well here it says it's 18 degrees, but I promise it's not 18 degrees. Uh, it's probably about nine or 10 or maybe 11 degrees Celsius. And so the uh, the trip will actually, uh, the trip computer will actually compensate for the colder weather. Um, so you can see we're not quite fully charged, maybe 80, 85%, uh, but we're at just under 300 kilometers. So uh, you kind of get an idea there. Uh, of course the cold weather will impact your bat uh, battery life. Um, so that is one thing to keep in mind. But we'll move on to this nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel. Uh, we do have your adaptive cruise control with lane centering controls right here, as well as a bunch of other driver assistance features, which Ford includes as standard equipment on all lightings. So that's definitely nice there. And on the right side, we have controls 
for the gauge cluster, which is a full screen, very customizable, very easy to use. And then below that, we do have some media controls right here. And in the middle, we do have the Sync 4A display. Now, this is a massive display. It's 15 and a half inch from corner to corner. It's very high resolution. Uh, Ford really did a great, great job with this. And it actually just recently received a update, a uh, software update. And that's part of the uh, Ford kind of ecosystem is the uh, power up updates is what they call it. So it's over the air updates. And uh, while well, they changed the, the whole design of the screen uh, just through an update. So it's super cool. Just get one on your, on your phone. Uh, Ford does that with their, with their vehicles. So uh, we'll start here in the top corner. We have the home button. And this will bring up some of your menus. Uh, so your radio, phone, navigation. You also have wireless, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. And then the next tab here is some of your controls and settings. And you can kind of scroll through all of them right there. And then lastly, we do have the 360 camera system. And you can change the views with those, uh, with those buttons right there. And then currently I have the navigation pulled up, uh, but you can pinch to zoom just like you would on your phone. Again, very easy to use, very high resolution, very fluid. Uh, again, very, great, great uh, navigation system there. On the bottom of the screen is actually designated to the climate control entirely. So it, it's always on the bottom so you know where it is. And it's dual zone, it's automatic, so you can just set it to a temperature and then it's gonna automatically adjust for you. And we do have those, again, heated and cooled seats and you can actually use this knob here and this was one of the changes that Ford made with that update as you actually uh, gave you the ability to use this knob as more than just a volume button. Uh, so you can actually use it for whichever menu you're in. So a uh, cool little multifunction uh, knob there. And then below here we do have a wireless charger with some wired USB connections. Lightning has the interior work surface, so we can actually flip the console the other way here, and I have a nice flat surface. Um, so this is included on XLT and Lariat models. We also have a 120 volt outlet right here, lots of power, 12 volt, all that. Dual glove box, of course, lots of storage. Now we'll take a look into the rear seat of the Lightning, where uh, the Lightnings are only offered as a Super Crew, which is the full four door with the five and a half foot beds, you actually can't get any other configuration other than this configuration like you see it. Um, but again, we do have these beautiful leather seats back here, which are very, very comfortable. And they do have the nice two tone color, which is actually different from a gas powered F-150. So Ford did change it up a little bit for the Lightning model. And we can actually lift these up and we do have the flat floor back here. Uh, so you have a nice flat floor. You can easily load your tools or your pet, your dog, whatever you want here in the back, no problem at all. We have our carpeted floor mats, as well as the box link uh, cleat system. So it actually provides additional tie down points for the bed. And if we put that back down, we have another series of outlets back here. So uh, another three prong outlet USB, and there's even 12 volt right up here. So we can keep everything charged up, no problem at all. But lastly, we'll show you the charge port in the front trunk. So we do have a little uh, release here we can just push open and that will pop open the charge port door. Uh, so we have our connector right here, which does have the additional uh, one on the bottom for fast charging. Uh, so you have fast charging capability and then this little status indicator in there as well. A little Easter egg on the inside of the cover. And this is locked, of course. So when the truck is locked, that door will also lock. There's a little button underneath which we can use to open it. And it will beep a couple times just to let you know that it's opening, that it will power its way up. And it does open quite high, so you have a good amount of headroom here. Uh, but we'll start with some general statistics. We do have a 400 liter enclosed storage. Uh, so 400 liters of capacity and a 400 pound uh, weight capacity as well. So lots and lots of uh, uh, weight and storage capacity in the in the front trunk and again this is all additional storage that you wouldn't get in a gas vehicle so this is all just additional storage here and underneath we do have the mobile charger uh, this is 120 volt 240 volt uh, capable and actually underneath here is a cooler so you actually have a drain at the bottom and you can actually put some ice in here and uh, drain it out when you're done so it's a kind of a multi-purpose uh, uh, little cubby right there again this is very thick uh, plastic here it's very very heavy duty uh, you could tell it could definitely hold the 400 pounds it's very very uh, thick and heavy duty material on this left side we do have a little mini pro power on board i like to call it so we have four outlets with a a, a USB hub, uh, so you can plug in all kinds of stuff there. 2.4 kilowatts of capacity, and Ford also integrates lighting on the inside of the lid. 
So if you're interested in this particular Lightning Lariat, it is for sale here at McPhee Ford. You can give us a call or visit us at McPheeFord.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.